Welcome! In front of me I have Halo Smartwatch 2 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First you will need to turn on the watch and you can do it by pressing and holding the side button and once you see the Halo logo on the screen you can re release the button. So release it and wait until the watch turns on. After the watch turns on uh, we need to download and install the Halo Fun application on our phone. So let's make sure that we have internet connection on our phone. Okay, we're connected. Now let's open the Google Play Store on our phone. In the Play Store, um, we should have connection. Come on. Okay, now it's working. Okay, so in the Play Store, tap on search bar, type in Halo Fun, and tap search. You should see this application, Halo Fun, with this icon. Tap on the install button to download and install it. And after the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the application, let's tap on the start the experience button then tap on agree and continue, tap on sign up and here we can log in into an account or create a new account by tapping on sign up or use the third party application or third party account to log in. I already have an account so I'm gonna tap right here, enter the email address, tap right here and enter the password and then tap on sign in to log in. I must have entered something wrong. Oh, never mind. It worked. It got. It was lagged for some reason. But once you log in, you might get the pop up about the permissions. This is the location permission, so uh, we can uh, allow it or deny it. I'm pretty sure if you want to use uh, functions like um, tracking sport, uh, like cycling, running, you need to allow the permission uh, for the location. If you don't care about that stuff, you can deny it. I'm just gonna tap on go to settings and allow it while using the app. The app will ask you to allow it for all the time. So basically when the app is closed too, you can do it if you want to. I'm just gonna uh, go back and don't allow it for all the time, but if you want to, you can do it. Okay, so once you're done with the permission, you should see the homepage of the app. Now let's tap on the me icon, then tap on add device. This should bring the uh, list of devices. Find the uh, Halo Smartwatch 2 on the list. Tap on it. And the app should look for the nearby devices and it should find the Halo Smartwatch 2 on the list. Or there, it should appear on the list, my bad. So tap on it to select it. Tap on the check mark on the watch to confirm the pairing. Tap on continue in the app. Here we can allow the uh, permission for the uh, weather. So if you want to track the weather with your watch or rather get the weather uh, in your location, you need to tap on allow. Next we have the incoming call and notifications. So basically if you want to get the notifications on your watch about the incoming calls on your phone, you can tap on allow. If you don't care, you can tap on jump to skip this. I'm gonna allow it. So we need to allow the required permissions. And here we have notifications about, from apps rather, not about apps. So if you want to receive the notifications from the apps on your phone, on the watch, you need to allow it. If you don't care, you can tap on jump. I'm gonna tap on allow, tap on understand, uh, find the Halo fan on the list of apps, tap on it, tap on the switch, tap on allow, and go back to the app. Oh. Let's go back to the app and now we can enable the uh, app notifications. And here we have the list of apps installed on our phone and we can enable or disable the notifications for these specific apps as you can see. And once you're done, tap on complete. And now we can tap on begin use. Here we can tap on go to settings. Um, let's see until 
let's wait until it loads and basically what the app wants here we it wants us to allow the app to run, run in the background my bad so we can tap on go, go to settings and then allow it if you don't want to do it you can tap on back to skip this if you want to do it tap on go to settings tap on allow and now we can tap on go back and then tap on complete like this so if you allow the uh, background uh, up the, to run on, on in the background rather you will see the complete right here and also once you're done with the setup, you should see the device page of your Halo smartwatch too. This means that the devices are paired together. And also you can use your watch. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.